Hi guys, here's a quick demo of my latest project. It's uh, online radio. Um, this is the Mark II portable version, um, which I've done in landscape mode rather than uh, portrait mode for the actual radio itself, for the screen. Okay, so first put it on. Comes on with a nice little boot screen, online radio. Um, what it's doing now in the background is it's connecting to my Wi-Fi. So the first station it comes it's going up to be spread all over the country in the BBC northern World part of the service, country. So it's Milano and Cortina, but many that graphics more. just made up of um, the actual so text be commands. A big issue because transportation uh, won't be easy. For the screen and itself. That, and they're trying to improve on public uh, transportation. Second station. Very easy. Is talk sport. I'll tell you what. Well, that graphics completely different. Design. That's made up from a, a bitmap image. And then convert it into um, hex, which is put into the uh, program itself. I'll keep the volume fairly low. Uh, third one is LBC. That's one of my favourite stations. It's just like a news talk station based down in London. Keep the volume up. So I yeah. think there's a huge nice and clear. Um, again, that's a, a little bitmap image of the LBC logo. Fourth one, BBC Radio 2. I shouldn't see on there. I have to keep the volume down because I know YouTube are a bit funny about the uh, music. Uh, that's made up of halfy halfy. That's a, a bitmap image for the number two in the circle. And the BBC Radio part is made up of, it's just text um, and some uh, draw rectangle commands. So three rectangles with BBC in, and then the radio as standard text underneath. Uh, next one. Well, this, is, this is a, a Queen station that plays 24-7 Queen music. Uh, as you can hear there. Um, now that graphics, uh, the graphic of Freddie Mercury's face there is just made up from... Um, it's a, a bitmap image that I got online, turned it into monochrome, and then uh, just put it in uh, Photoshop and reduced the size of it to 64 pixels by 64 pixels. So it's quite small. I'll zoom into that, you might be able to see it a bit better. There we are. Yeah. Looks quite good in real life. The um, the camera doesn't show it too well because it's all like flashing on and off, but in real life it's not flashing. It's uh, it's quite sharp. Uh, next station is BBC Radio 4. That's exactly the same as the Radio 2 logo that I made. Now the next one's interesting. This is uh, a Beatles station. And all they do is play Beatles stuff 24-7. Uh, that graphic is made up from um, a picture that I found on the uh, internet and then again turned it mono and reduced the size of it uh, 128 by 64 pixels which is the resolution of the screen. Uh, bring that a bit closer so you can see it. But that's quite really nice that one. Uh, it is a deep blue actually the colour but the camera's not picking it up too well. Um, and the next station, final station, is the Times Radio uh, News Channel station. It's just 24-7 sort of news, current affairs. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the sort of stations I like listening to, I prefer them to music stations, to be honest. But there we are. Uh, that's the, the workings of the radio. She found herself exposed to a slew of vile content. It was quite loud as well. It's surprising how loud it is for the size of it. It is only very small. This it's uh, it's about 120 mil long by 60 mil high. Uh, the rear of the unit. Um, it's got my usual uh, serial plate on it that I make, um, made with a laser printer on clear vinyl, and then stuck onto some um, mirror, chrome mirror vinyl and 
a coat of clear lacquer to keep it all in one. And uh, that's that little hole that you can see is the uh, charging socket. Um, it's powered by a, a one cell lithium polymer battery, 3.7 volts. Now 3.7 volts isn't quite enough to power the, uh, the microcontroller in it, it needs 5 volts. So it does have a little boost, what they call a boost charger module, which is a, it's a little tiny circuit board that boosts the 3.7 volts up to 5 volts. Um, and then it also has a, a built-in LiPo charger on the same board. I mean, this board is literally only an inch across by half an inch high. It's absolutely tiny. And the little lithium polymer charger that's built in is really good. Um, it, it pretty much converts the 5 volts from a, a USB supply, whatever, um, that I plug into that, um, back down to your 3.7 volts to charge the cell, so it works in reverse. Uh, charges it in about two hours. Um, the size of the battery is what 3.7 volts at 780 milliamps, and I get about four to five hours continuous use at medium volume from that. So yeah, pretty pretty good. Pleased with that. That's good. I tend to just leave it plugged in most of the time, um, just on standby charge sort of thing. But there we are. Nice little project. Made a little tag for it, as I always do. Small label, just saying where it is. I don't know if you can see that. There it is. But uh, yeah, really pleased with it. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.